Engraven said, give me that. YouTube, team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And in this video, first and foremost, today has been just a really, really great day. And I hope that y'all are having a really, really great day too. Um, I appreciate you all watching the videos. I appreciate you all coming through, uh, commenting, just, just showing a lot of support. Shout out to all the team keep it clean patrons, the new patrons, the old patrons, even the patrons that left. I appreciate the fact that you all have been a part of showing extra support to the YouTube channel. So thank you for that. Um, now, earlier today, um, I was talking to my guy, Jason, from Huddle It Up Film. Shout out to my guy, Jason. Uh, we were having a conversation, and he was like, he's like, man, hey, Nate McCrary's back. And when he said that, I was thinking, uh, well, yeah, that would be a cool idea. Y'all know the Broncos, they just recently cut him and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, we, we all had the talks about Nate McCrary possibly coming back, especially before the season started. But, yeah, we'll see if it ends up happening. I don't think it will because we got, like, 80 running backs right now. But go ahead, Jason, keep talking. But he, no, no, he was like, no, 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 no. Engraven, Nate McCrary is back. I just saw it. And I was like, oh. So I checked for myself and I was like, oh, okay. You're right. <laughs> so the Ravens, they brought back Nate McCrary, who they had released. So, I mean, the, the Ravens, you could learn a lesson about love from the Ravens because they always say, hey, if you love something, let it go. And if it comes back, then it was meant to be. But if not, then oh well. And here we go with a love story with Nate McCrary. Because the Ravens, they had him on the team. He obviously didn't make it. They released him, didn't sign him back to the practice squad or nothing. And the Broncos picked him up. And then we, of course, went through all of our running back woes with Gus Edwards, Justice Hill, J.K. Just the whole mess. Y'all already know what time it was. Um, and they didn't bring him back. So the Broncos signed him, but then the Broncos were like, mm, all right, you, you, you can go. And they released him. They released him. And it was said that actually before he signed with the Ravens practice squad, that he was debating on, oh, should I go to the Broncos? Should I go to the Ravens? Should I go to the Broncos? Should I go to the Ravens? Where the Broncos headed? Hmm. Where the Ravens headed? Ah, okay. Not such an easy decision though, but welcome back. Nate McCrary, something um, that I, I really, uh, what's the word? I underestimated going into this season because y'all have heard me say so many times that I feel like so many different running backs, like the Ravens could put almost anybody back there running back and they would have a lot of success. But one thing that I, I did not, that I took for granted and I didn't appreciate as much as I should have was the, uh, how familiar like a Gus Edwards and a JK Dobbins and a Justice Hill how familiar those guys were with the mesh point when Lamar puts it in their chest or puts it in their stomach and Lamar is either pulling the keep or he's handing it off for them to keep. I, I really underestimated just how valuable uh, having somebody who's familiar with that is. And we've seen that this season thus far, especially in the first game. Um, but it's just it, it, it makes a big difference because when it's somebody that knows it, that's comfortable with it and whatnot, it just makes the whole process that much smoother. So shout out to uh, Nate McCrary because he is somebody that's familiar with that system. Now, he was familiar with it with Tyler Huntley. And I mean, Tyler Huntley is like Lamar 2.0, but still, it's still not Lamar Jackson. Um, so we'll see what happens. I was a little surprised by this move. Because, again, just to give you a refresher, the Ravens running backs, uh, they have uh, Tyson Williams. They have Devontae Freeman. And they have Latavius Murray. Those are the running backs on the active roster. And then on a practice squad, they have Le'Veon Bell and now Nate McCrary. So, you, I mean, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. They're obviously very ready with running backs. There's been a question of when is Le'Veon Bell going to get activated? When is Le'Veon Bell going to get called up? When is Le'Veon Bell going to get some playing time? When is he going to be on the field? And I don't know, man. I, uh, we get this question all the time. But now with them signing Nate McCrary to the practice squad, I ain't trying to jump to no conclusions or anything like that, but it almost seemed like Le'Veon Bell could possibly get cut to me. And I could be wrong. I have been wrong a million times, and I'm going to be wrong a million and one times again. But... It seems like Le'Veon Bell could be cut. Like, where is there room for him? When would they elevate him? Tyson ain't going nowhere. Latavius Murray ain't going nowhere. And Devontae Freeman just got called up to the active roster. He's on the active roster. So where is there room for Le'Veon Bell? And then with them bringing on Nate McCrary too? You got to wonder. Like, what, what does this mean for one Le'Veon Bell? 
But anyway, that wasn't the only move that the Ravens made today uh, because they had the four uh, COVID-19 replacements. Because, of course, we know Jalen Ferguson, he got COVID, so he's out. Um, and then Brandon Williams and Justin Matabike and Justin Houston, they were all close contacts. So for this game, they are out. And Brandon Williams, he said he ain't, he ain't having none of y'all games, none of y'all garbage, none of y'all rumors. He said he ain't having it because he let somebody have it on Twitter today. And he, somebody said, ain't you get COVID last year? Ain't, ain't, ain't you get it last year, Brandon Williams? And he said, no, and I still ain't got it. So he shut that down. It's always nice to hear directly from the players on stuff that's going on. Uh, but anyway, though, with those four guys being out, they had to uh, have guys come in to replace them. Now, um, if they, with the guys that they called up from the practice squad, since these are COVID replacements and not just regular practice squad call-ups, then this doesn't count towards these guys' practice squad call-ups because, as you all know, if you're on the practice squad, you can get called up to the active roster two times. And if that team wants to call you up a third time, then they either have to release you and you clear waivers and you get signed to the practice squad again, or they have to add you to the active roster. It has to be one or the other. They cannot call you up from the practice squad three times in a row. You got to go through those waivers or you got to be on the active roster before that, that next call up, that third call up. So that, but for in this case, when you're replacing somebody that got put on the COVID reserve list, then this doesn't go towards your two call ups. So the people that they called up, oh, shout out to Emerson. Emerson W is a new patron. It just literally came through as we doing this video. So I appreciate it, Emerson. Thank you. I hope you see this. Um, so the four call-ups, one was Kevin Seymour, uh, Ravens at cornerback, of course, with, uh, Marcus Peters. He, he went down, uh, with, um, Chris Westry. He's banged up. Um, and so we, we're a little thin at cornerback, but Jimmy Smith's coming back. So that's good. Uh, they, they elevated him just to be safe rather than sorry. Defensive tackle Khalil McKenzie. And this could be a big game for him because he could get a lot of playing time, like a lot more than it would be expected. Uh, Josh Bynes. Very familiar with the Ravens, I would say. Uh, Super Bowl champion, Josh Bynes. Uh, helper of helping the Ravens win, what, 12 games straight, Josh Bynes. So, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> um, also, uh, Andre Smith. And, and, you know, with the offensive line, even though they, they did very good last week, you got to stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. And you just never know because these injuries just been falling from out the sky. They just been crazy. And it's just been very stressful, pretty annoying, very uh, just all of, all of that, man. Uh, but those are the, the four game day call up. So Kevin, Kevin Seymour, cornerback, uh, defensive tackle Khalil McKenzie, uh, linebacker Josh Bynes and offensive tackle Andre Smith. Uh, so Ravens are heading into Detroit. Obviously banged up. I mean, they're going to be banged up all season. Uh, but they are coveted up um, with those four guys out due to the uh, the protocols. So, again, we just hope it's not a lingering thing. Uh, it shouldn't be a lingering thing. Shouldn't be a lingering issue. Um, I know they said with the status of the team that there that, that shouldn't be what happened last year. Uh, that That's not going to happen again. So they they should be good on that end. Um, but anyway, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. Team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all so much. I, I really do. Um, thank you just for what you do uh, as a support system. Um, you just, as somebody who makes videos, you never know um, how your videos can impact somebody's life. You, you, you just really never know. But from y'all uh, to me, just with the support, um, with the positivity, uh, with, with, with the common whether sharing or what, what any anything, the, the direct messages, DMs, whatever, twi whatever, everything. You you just never know how y'all impact uh, my life, and I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Um, I love you, I, I, and I hope that everything is really really good for you. If it's not, it's okay. You got plenty of time to fix it. As bad as it, some of that stuff may be, you got time to fix it. So you still here. So as long as you still here, you got a shot. I love y'all so much. I appreciate y'all so much. And we out.